Don Dawkin recently came forward with a claim that he wrote, quote, 80% of the band Dawkins' music back in the day. Don Dawkin also told the media that his bandmates were very not involved with the songwriting process and do not deserve as much credit as he does. However, Dawkins bassist Jeff Pilsen has very recently come forward condemning these claims and telling the world that Don Dawkins' claims were desperate and weak. Stick around to learn more. We made a video a while back explaining this whole situation. However, in case you haven't seen the video, here's a little refresher. Don Dawkins explained on a podcast back in January, quote, Dokken was a very unusual band. When I formed the band, even though I'd been Dokken for years, and years before I met George and Jeff and Mick, I'd already toured Germany twice, but when we finally came together, I said, let's make it simple. You write a hit, you write a hit, you write a hit, we'll just split it four ways. It doesn't matter who writes what, may the best songs win, and that's how it was. Now, looking back, I could say it was a stupid thing to do because I wrote a lot of the hits and I gave up 75% to the three of them. Essentially what Don Dawkins is saying is that he and his band members and Dawkins agreed to split all profits from each song four ways, no matter who actually wrote the song. However, Don Dawkins claimed this was a mistake, as he claimed to have written 75% of the hit songs for the band. Don Dawkin also claimed to have written 80% of the band's 1985 album titled Under Lock and Key. However, Dawkin bassist Jeff Pilsen has a very different recollection of how this album was actually written. Referencing Don Dawkin's claim of writing 80% of Under Lock and Key, Pilsen responded, quote, BS. That's total BS. He did not write all the records. No freaking way. He was a valuable contributor. And he wrote much of like in my dreams he came up with the chorus and that chorus is great but he had nothing to do with it's not love nothing to do with unchain the night pretty much nothing to do with lighten the strikes again he did not write the whole record he had a lot to do with a lot of it as he should but to say he wrote the whole thing that's absolute bs and he knows it deep down inside while admitting that Don Dokken did have very valuable contributions to the album on specific songs, Pilsen is calling Don Dokken a liar and taking way more credit than he deserves. Jeff Pilsen also explained how he believes that Don Dokken is only making these claims recently to promote Dokken's new album. This can be seen when Jeff Pilsen explained, quote, It sounds like he's trying to stir up attention to himself because he's got a new Dokken record to promote, because it seems kind of desperate and weak. I just have to laugh. I mean, I don't understand it. I think it's kind of weird. I know he's resentful of the fact that we split everything equally, but if you would have broken it down to what we did, I'm not sure, but maybe he would get a little, yeah, he would get more than a quarter if it was really broken up, but not enough to make all the noise he's making now 30 years later, 40 years later, while calling Don Dawkins' wild accusations weak and desperate. Pilsen is also explaining here that while even he believes Dawkins would get more than the agreed upon 25% of the profits from the albums, he wouldn't get nearly the 75% that Don Dawkins claimed he deserved. Former Dawkins guitarist George Lynch also weighed in on this debate, saying that himself and Jeff Pilsen were more or less responsible for all of the success that Dawkins has enjoyed. When asked about this statement from Lynch, Pilsen responded, quote, Yeah, we all wrote the melodies and lyrics for Unchain the Night, and it's not love. I will say that Will the Sunrise is a great example of when we do collaborate as a band, because George came up with the music and Don came up with that amazing chorus. I think the chorus on Will the Sunrise is amazing. I think the music that George came up with was amazing, but I thought Don's chorus was just amazing. And that's when Dawkins was working, when things like that happened, while in a way taking the opposite side of George Lynch by saying each member contributed great things to the album. Pilsen is clearly stressing the fact that everyone did their part, 
and not one member did more than the rest of the band. While George Lynch and Don Dawkin clearly believed that they did more for the band than any other member, Jeff Pilson is very obviously taking the high road approach, saying everyone more or less contributed equally to Dawkins' musical triumphs. However, Jeff Pilson does fire a shot at Don Dawkins in the interview, explaining, quote, At this point, it's just so ridiculous for me that he's resentful, but that's dark energy that he's carrying around that he doesn't need to. However, the interview wasn't over just yet. Don Dawkin also previously claimed to have written 80% of Dawkins' second album in 1984, titled Tooth and Nail. This one seemed to strike a nerve with Jeff Pilson as he would totally explode, taking a completely different approach than the high road approach he was taking when asked previous questions. Pilson fired back, quote, Tooth and Nail? You've got to be kidding me. He had nothing to do with the song Tooth and Nail, except that we knew that that was going to be the title of the record, so he wrote the song around that. But he had nothing to do with that. He had nothing to do with Just Got Lucky. Pilsen continued on his tirade, quote, He did make valuable contributions to Into the Fire, and he did make the most valuable contribution to Alone Again. But then there's other songs on Tooth and Nail that he, I mean, don't close your eyes, he had nothing to do with. Heartless Heart, he had nothing to do with. I mean, there's a lot of songs he had nothing to do with. So for him to say he wrote 80% of any of the Dawkins records is crazy. Once again referring to Don Dawkins' claims as wild and crazy, Jeff Pilson now has taken the stance that he will not back down to Don Dawkins' accusations as can be clearly seen in this rant as he cited many different examples of songs that he claimed Don Dawkins had nothing to do with, most certainly not 80% of the album like Don claimed. Do you think either side is only making these accusations for clout or personal reasons? It is not uncommon for bands to argue over who deserves credit for the hit song the group produces. One of the most well-known cases of a rock band dispute over a song credit is the legal battle regarding Led Zeppelin's iconic song, Stairway to Heaven. The band was accused of copying the opening guitar rift from the song Taurus of the band Spirit. This is because a lawsuit filed by Spirit's guitarist, Randy Wolfie, this case went to trial and Led Zeppelin won in the end, with the court ruling that there was no substantial similarities between the two songs. However, similar to Dawkins and Pilsen, the band Spirit was seeking credit for this hit song they claimed to have written a part of that was stolen by Led Zeppelin. Now that you know all the facts about this story from both Don Dawkins and Jeff Pilsen's side, we want to hear your thoughts. Whose side are you on? Make sure to check out the video linked to learn all about Don Dawkins' side of the story. Do you believe that Don Dawkins wrote 80% of the band's hits? Or are you on Jeff Pilson's side and believe that the band's success was more evenly split? Let us know in the comments section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed and thanks for watching.